Hey Elon, <laughs> there's a feature in this MG4 that's not available on any Tesla, and that's vehicle to load. Come on man, you're building a Starship to go to Mars. Surely we can have vehicle to load in a Tesla. Let me show you how it works. The vehicle to load adapter cable is provided with the MG4. It takes the direct current of the battery and inverts it into two 30 volts, 50 hertz, so you can run any household appliance. It's part of a larger package of cables that come with the MG4, including our home charging unit, which on a Tesla is an additional $700. They're going to make toast out in the bush. Yeah, yeah. that'd be fun. We should just do that. Well, actually, we're going to use that to charge my Tesla off this car. Get out. <laughs> Using the vehicle to load adapter simply requires you to plug it into the charging port and then the other end of the adapter plugs into your electrical appliance. In this instance we're using a vacuum cleaner so I can clean the car. When you plug in your appliance, it's not going to instantly start because there is a safeguard in the MG4 configuration menu requiring you to set up the maximum amount of discharge you're prepared to allow the vehicle to have. That way you don't get caught camping somewhere and find that you don't have enough battery to drive home at the end of the trip. At the end of this video, there's a short segment that just shows you how to configure this menu. When you've finished using your appliance, the connector won't automatically disconnect. You do need to tell the configuration menu to stop discharging. Then it will release the connector plug. So in a nutshell, that's how vehicle to load works. And really, I can't see why Tesla can't incorporate this into all of their vehicles. Here's a short video from delivery day with the MG4, just showing how to configure the maximum amount of discharge you're prepared to allow the battery to have. So this is your discharging. So this is where you'd use your vehicle to load cable, I believe. You plug in, and then you press start discharging. This one here is how much it's going to allow the vehicle to load cable to drain from the battery. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, well I'll read up on that. Yeah. Oh, um, I get it. So you can vehicle to load and you can say don't go below 50%. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. great. Mm. Oh, that's useful. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.